Hi Sagittarius. Hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for joining me today. Well, that was kind of loud. <laughs> Sagittarius, a little disclaimer today that I'm a, a little bit under the weather. So my voice is a little bit of creaky, a little bit of, I'm doing a little bit of squeaking <laughs> and squawking, but I feel fine. So when you hear it, just know that yeah, everything is okay. Sagittarius, I welcome, well, I want to say welcome, welcome back and welcome if you're new to the channel and welcome to another Sagittarius tarot reading. Sagittarius love tarot reading. Sagittarius love messages reading often is often the case here at the Tarot Closet channeled love messages from your person and from their higher self. I'm going to continue on with a few things I want to say, but look what's really wanting to show themselves. It's the Six of Wands and it's the Eight of Wands. So there is a message coming in here, Sagittarius. There is a message coming in here, this victorious energy and Jupiter and Leo energy, the planet of expansion and prosperity, optimism, growth, hope, Eight of Wands here, Mercury and Sagittarius energy, planet of the mind, the planet of communication. It's a really fast energy. So this message is what's going on with this message because the arrival of it, I feel like is going to be quite fast and it's going to change some things around here, <laughs> change some things around here. Eight is an action number. There's also some karma around that. Infinity manifesting. Can be for some of you, this is your twin flame connection. That will not be for everyone. I just want to be clear. I will always bring the energy through. These all signs love tarot readings are generally not twin flame readings, but the energy comes through. So it might be for you, you know, that it's speaking to you in terms of your twin flame. In any case, there's a message coming in here. Somebody really wants to share something with you. They're wanting to throw out to win with that victory wreath. Okay, Sagittarius, where was I? This is where I was. I'm channeling for you in October 2023. This is a timeless reading, however. So, and we're just coming up almost to November, actually, 2023. So you could be here in real time, but you could also be here, my gosh, you could also be here many months, even years later. And that is because this is a timeless reading. This is a faded connection, Sagittarius. You're here when you're meant to be here. And as I say that, look at this, this, <laughs> you're reading here, your person, this is a faded connection. It's a deep soulmate connection, a deep soulmate energy. Someone you feel like you've known forever. It's six of cups energy here for me, the sun in Scorpio. And this is coming into your destiny here. A new start. This message is strong. Somebody is coming in here with a message. They're carrying a cup. This is the prince, princess, charming, romantic proposal energy of the king of cups riding this horse. That's a really particularly emotional horse. So there's a little, you can sense just a little bit of fear or maybe some caution, but heading up here to, as you can see, this energy flowing, the love, also the divine, the emotional energy. And yeah, moving here toward the Wheel of Fortune, which is a turning point in this connection. And it's very clear with the Six of Wands, with the Eight of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune that this message that is coming in from your person quite fast is going to be a turning point. It's going to change everything here. So what do I feel like it's ending? Well, it's ending the cycle of the very least not talking no communication, no contact. For some of you, this is you're in separation as well. No communication, no contact and or in separation. So that is coming to an end here. Attainment, fulfillment. The 10 of course is deducing into a one, the new beginnings. But the opportunity for that and the potential that is still here. Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius. Fix signs here in that Wheel of Fortune energy. The King of Cups already wanting to come in. Somebody sure has a lot of feelings for you. And I, <laughs> and I feel, pun intended, that they're about to be expressed. I was just scratching <laughs> my face and the Page of Cups revealed itself at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, somebody's coming in here 
this is a message for me. Again, it can be communication in person. It's the thing about Mercury. It's about communication, but it's oftentimes around reading and writing. So it can be that somebody, and in particular connected to, to connected to the Six of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune, that there's a message coming in here. Is somebody finally sharing how they feel, what they've been holding back? Because there's a lot that they've been holding back. This King of Cups is the master of emotions. But they're coming in here in a really supportive, beautiful, empathetic way. You know, this is Pisces energy. The throne is here um, riding on the waves. It's like all this emotional stuff. And they're like, do do the king, you know, just looking as calm as ever here. But we also saw the Knight of Cups and we see the messages coming through. And, you know, this is where it is. This King of Cups energy here wants to be in the overall energy. That doesn't always happen. Again, here's the Page of Cups that revealed itself in kind of a funny way. But here it is. It can be sort of like a student energy, you know, of just trying to figure out how, how to come back in here. But a messenger, an offer, it can be for some of you, your person is younger. It doesn't mean that they are, you know. The Divine Masculine energy here is quite strong. But remember, you know, we all have Divine Feminine we all have divine masculine energy. So it's not about gender. Um, but take it, of course, as always, as it resonates. So we saw it. It came, it went. No, it wants. <laughs> okay, so this is how it's wanting to go. It's wanting to be here and it's revealing. Yeah, it's okay. So here's the thing. This is how it's going. And this is, this is going to be bottoms up for now. It might change. It might not change, <laughs> but it's really clear. So Hierophant in reverse is here in your partnership placement, more divine masculine energy. This is also Taurus energy. And yeah, this is an energy of commitments, long-term commitments, which can include marriage. It can also be around, I want to say, like things other, something, things that people are in charge of or that they're connected to. So it can be work money, family of origin, cultural, religious differences. This is a change that somebody is trying to make here today, Sagittarius, and it's right here in the partnership placement. The judgment card, the five of pentacles, look at that right below the king of cups, competing for the overall energy here, but it was loud and clear for me that the king of cups wants to <laughs> literally be on the throne here. Archangel Gabriel, the angel for messages, the herald of visions, wake up call city here. Wake up call, your life purpose, what do you want? Get some clarity. Pluto, regenerative energy. And by the way, when musical notes, instruments are coming into my readings, there's a making peace energy there as well. And look where their energy is the strongest, what is here today. So this is a feeling of loss. It's the five of pentacles. There's still... Maybe that's why this message is coming in so quickly. It's Mercury and Taurus energy. So they're really up in their head worried about this connection. And you can see having a wake up call here, this message, is, this is an offer. It's a message. Is the offer a message? Is it more? Can definitely be more. The Nine of Pentacles is also showing itself here. Virgo and Mercury energy. This is abundance and love coming in here. It's nine pentacles. It's one pentacle shy of the ten of pentacles. Surrounded by the grapes, new beginnings, developing. And interestingly here, of course, we're seeing six pentacles. There's one hand on them kind of highlighting the fact that they're there. And that's the moon and Taurus energy in the six of pentacles here in this upright energy within the nine of pentacles is a giving energy. It's a reciprocal energy. And we see here over, over here, um, the three of pentacles and that's Mars and Capricorn energy. And that's a, I want to say like a collaborative energy communicating and coming together and everybody wanting the same thing, the commitment energy here. It's long term energy and that's coming together. That's the timing, that's communicating and that's growth. That's everything moving forward here. Of course, the giving energy and it's reciprocal and that's exactly the same here 
in the Three of Pentacles, as it is in the Six of Pentacles, which of course is bringing us to the Nine. That's attainment, that's fulfillment, that is things coming to fruition. And look, the Eight of Pentacles here, the Three of Cups, yeah, look at that. That is just so clear. The Eight of Pentacles right here next to the Nine of Pentacles here in the upright. It's the Sun in Virgo energy. So they're working on coming here quite literally. Look, there are the Six Pentacles again. You know, this reciprocal giving energy, but there's five of them up here. And we see that here in their energy. It's quite strong. They're very worried. They're working kind of fast to get a message to you and to break free from something or someone in their life. There's something here under this Hierophant energy that they're, yeah, they're trying to pull away from. You can see they're working diligently on that. They're feeling this loss here. Look at those five of pentacles here, and there's the sixth pentacle, of course, and that's the giving energy here. They're working on this coming here. Where's the seventh pentacle? It's right here, and that's bringing in the seven of pentacles energy, which is Venus and Taurus. And that's an energy of kind of making sure that you're still there because you've been waiting. How long have you been waiting for? And it's the time and the effort that you have been putting in. They're keeping you close. So it can be that you're even close together in proximity, but they're keeping you close. It's Page of Swords energy too, just kind of keeping an eye on things. And for some of you, there might be a connection to family and friends. It won't be for everyone. But these five pentacles up here, this feeling of loss, they're really up in their head, is kind of pushing them here to, to hammer things out that they need to hammer out in their life. Look at this, literally, around this Hierophant energy, this Divine Masculine energy in reverse, which is very clearly affecting the partnership placement. There is your journey, their journey of love. They're quite focused. They're very focused here on that Eighth Pentacle, working things out. And why also? Because they, they're having a huge wake-up call here. Look at this. Judgment, of course. Archangel Gabriel, that Pluto energy of just saying, figure out what you want, make a decision, and then head toward what you want, the, your life purpose. And that's how they feel about you is really clear. I don't think it's ever stopped, but this is, it's, it's emperor energy for me. It's emperor energy, Aries and Mars energy of having been hiding that. It can even be that part of the reason for that is that they're connected to something here in this Hierophant energy that has made that, had, I don't want to say ha have to be that way, but there's something connecting with the Hierophant energy and the Emperor energy. Now, it can be somebody who's in control of a lot of different particular things. You know, the Emperor energy is a pretty intense energy of somebody who might be you know, running, uh, dealing with a lot of money or family or corporations, whatever, okay? But I'm feeling that energy. It's quite strong. And it's a mix of ego and it's a mix of hiding it, some ego, some fear kind of underneath that, you know, and also connecting to this higher font energy. But this is a real wake-up call that they have been receiving about what they want. It's right underneath right underneath the King of Cups energy. And it's right here with the Three of Cups. This is Mercury and Cancer energy, and this is the communication. This is the Mercury energy coming in here, and of course they're thinking a lot about it. And also it can be that it's connected to the message that I'm feeling really strong here with the Wheel of Fortune, with the Knight of Cups, with the Eight of Wands, with the Six of Wands that have already presented themselves here today. And the energy is really strong. This is a celebratory energy. It can even be for some of you, you're, you're going to be seeing your person. Maybe they're working on that. But it's also, it's about communication. So it can be at an event. It can just be not at a particular event. But also for a lot of you, an energy of a message. Divine. Divine timing, communication, growth, soul connection here. And yeah, and I want to show you, that's the thing. Look how they're working here in this wake-up call with this five of pentacles on their mind. They're quite worried about it. And this is what they're thinking about. And what is the loss here? Well, we see it. We see the worry. It's a validation for me of the worry that's going on. Capricorn, 
Virgo and Taurus energy, it's in reverse. So this is really stressing about this. This is four of pentacles in reversal energy. It is this wake up energy. It's coming out, I feel, of not just their ego, but breaking free from something. You know, people, places, things, habits, beliefs that are maybe in their head or people have expect them to kind of behave or live a certain way. And it can't even be that it's just in their head. You know, whatever that is, or even in person, I want to say, it's connecting a little bit to devil card energy as well. And it's, they're really working on releasing that. This is really going against, this is finding a way around that. So it's actually a really positive energy in this sense here in the reading today. But this is a lot of worry about it, about this connection. Here's the pentacle, you know, that they're working on the five of pentacles here. And the Knight of Cups, we already know. The King of Cups, the Eight of Wands, the Six of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune. Now the Ace of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio energy. Are they coming in here with an offer? It's definitely on their mind. There's, a, you know, the spiritual connection here is not lost on me. So for some of you, that's going to be a really big connection. I don't talk. Um, I don't get into religion and whatnot in my readings. So you're going to know how this is resonating for you, if, if in fact it is that way. But we see the dove here, peace and love, and flying into this baptismal cup that it's creating, you know, it's it's pouring out. It's a lot of emotional energy. It's coming out of the blue here. And it's, again, it's an offer. And we saw that with the Knight of Cups, the Prince, Princess Charming energy, the Romantic Proposal energy, and something's revealing itself. I think that might be the Nine of Swords. And yeah, it can also be marriage proposal energy. So is somebody coming in here with a proposal? Maybe for marriage, of course. It's always a possibility here. It's not going to be for everyone. Proposals are new beginnings, you know? So what is that meaning for you? Is it the message that's coming in? Is that where it's beginning to talk, to date again, to meet? Whatever it is, it's really clear. They're in their feelings. They're coming out of the, their ego, I feel, the Emperor energy, again, just feels really quite strong for me, but they're working on this, I feel, diligently because they're very worried. It's also, again, it's this Four of Pentacles in reverse of feeling like maybe they've lost you. Yeah, look at this. All up in their head. All up in their head here with the Nine of Swords. Gemini and Mars energy not sleeping, worried. Worried that they mess this up. Okay, <laughs> yeah, and this is also, okay, so here, this is how it's going. This is wanting to come off, look. It's the Six of Cups. Um, okay, that energy is really strong here already, so that's a validation, as well as the Emperor and the Page of Swords and the Hermit energy, my gosh. Yeah, they're not sleeping very well, and they're seeing something or hearing something that's a little bit triggering because they're getting ready to act here, but they're watching. It's kind of like a, a, a spying energy, you know, of, of keeping an eye on you, maybe even talking to some, some people that you are and can, that you know. It's not going to be for everyone that you're connected with other people, but for some of you, it, it, it's, it's a definite. They're not sleeping very well. They're, they're stuck in their head here. Look at the worry. Look at the worry there. Connected here also to that wake up energy and that page of swords energy that we felt coming in is getting ready to come here. A lot of that is with the truth. How they feel and what else here, Sagittarius? Where this is going? This emperor. Yeah, look at that. Ace of Wands energy. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups energy. My gosh, Six of Cups energy which we also felt we're going to get some more, but I'm going to put this down right now because I want to talk about our emperor here that we knew was here. Aries and Mars energy. Look where it's, look where the emperor's catty corner too. So there's some of this going on in their life with something, something, someone. Aries and Mars, again, divine masculine energy, you know, holding on to that onk life balance. It's, Bringing in twin flame energy, yin yang energy, divine masculine, divine feminine energy. And this is, you know, somebody who really is, I feel like, 
in charge of something or connected to something that, yeah, they're trying to, some of it they're trying to pull away from. There's a power struggle going on and I don't even necessarily feel that with you. It can be, but it's with someone, something else in their life here. And that's the thing, how they feel for you coming out of their ego here and sharing that. Look, the King of Cups is looking over. Come on, Emperor, look over at me. <laughs> you know I'm here. It's like higher self energy, you know? You know how you feel. You can't deny it anymore because they've been hiding how they feel. Look how far down the emotional energy is, but it's there. Can't hide it. Look at that and look at the triggering here with their armor, which we also saw in the Knight of Cups coming in. So they're triggered. There's a little, I want to say a little bit, a lot. That's really interesting. A feeling of... Yeah, maybe a feeling of some, I want to say some jealousy here. There's something also around work and money. And I don't know if that's connected to other parties. It can be or simply around work. There's a little bit of jealousy here. What is that, <laughs> Sagittarius? But they're, they're triggered. They're seeing something. And they've been really fighting kind of with themselves. <laughs> and there's something in their life. Is that internal influences or external you know, whatever it is, they're trying to get away from that here. And also, really, I want to say, while well, admitting how they feel, wanting to share how they feel, and particularly in a message, but for some of you, it might be at an actual event, that Knight of Cups, the Ace of Cups, the Eight of Wands, the Six of Wands. It's The Six of Wands is a celebratory energy. You know, and it's the wands. It's pretty fast. It's the energy of love. It's around matters of the heart. And they're wanting to share with you. Having overcome something here, have they overcome everything that I feel is connected here? I don't know. Looks pretty strong, but you can also see they're working on that. So it can be that you have a conversation at an actual event, but it can also be a message. And that's really strong. We saw that it's been coming in nonstop. Could this offer be even more? Of course. Knight of Cups, Ace of Cups, energy of proposals. Can be super big proposals. We're going to talk about the Six of Cups there in just a moment. Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you're here too. This is that energy here. Look at this of coming out of the blue with the cup, handing it over to the Knight of Cups. The King of Cups handing it even to the Knight of Cups. Here you go, passing it down and, and letting that Knight right in because it's coming out of the blue. It's like a, well, it's the nocturnal energy that I feel that's really connected here today, which is interesting because, you know, nocturnal energy uh, comes to mind as an owl and it's a lot about inner transformation owls and they're Scorpios. Could be you're dealing with a Scorpio. It doesn't mean that you are, but it's a Scorpio, but it's a nocturnal energy I feel. That somebody here has just kind of been waiting, you know, to come. And this page energy, again, is a little bit like, you know, because it's a, can be an older male we're dealing with here, but it can be younger. And it's not about gender anyway, you know, so all of that. But it's, what I wanted to say is because it can also be somebody who's younger. But a lot of this energy is, is kind of student energy, you know, and trying to find a way here. And so it can be that it's just this popping out of nowhere, which you can actually see. And there's something coming on here that we need to look at. Um, yeah, so it's the King of Pentacles coming here in reverse. This is a little bit of stubborn energy. This is some stubborn energy coming through here. Knight of Pentacles, excuse me. I think I said the King of Pentacles. And yeah, that's Virgo and Mercury energy. So I'm also wondering if... Yeah, I don't know that you've been able to completely count on your person. Have they been completely reliable in the past? I don't think so. And what's interesting here too is there's that pentacle. It is connected to the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. And with this Five of Pentacles, this loss here. And I really feel the Four of Pentacles in reverse too, that there is something in their life that is connected to this of why... Maybe it, there was an offer, you know, off the table or some, yeah, something connected to that pentacle energy. So whether you were already connected long term or you were heading in that direction, this is really connecting for me. And that four of pentacles, what I want to say that I keep being shown 
in reverse is because there is something in their life commitment wise that they really need to work out. And we see that in the higher font energy in reverse. And commitments can be around money, work, relationships, romance, family of origin, friends, cultures, you know, religious culture, cu religious cultural differences, whatever the case may be. You know, look at the the harness here. You know, it's it's not it's not tied here. You know, this Knight of Pentacles is can also sometimes be an energy of somebody who was sort of running away from commitment. So it can't even be for some of you that that's the whole struggle here is themselves, you know, coming away from that. We're going to keep this, um, but I'm going to look into this Hermit card energy in the Six of Cups, and then we're going to bring in some Oracle today. First, actually, I'm going to yeah, I'm going to keep them both here, though. Six of Cups energy, we really felt that. So for a lot of you, you've known your person for a really long time, and there is some connection to friends and family. It won't be for everyone, because the thing is, it's, it's also just that feeling, and that's the soul connection energy here. And again, it can be quite literally connections to friends and family as well. Twin Flame energy, if you're on a Twin Flame journey, we know the soulmate energy here is quite strong. Past life energy... That's something else entirely that I won't go into today. But there's a really nostalgic energy here. You know, they're really thinking about, and a lot of times this can be a dreamy energy for me, you know, where there's a lot of dreaming about when they're going to see and talk to you again. This is a do energy for me. This is the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Wands. This is, well, the judgment and even the emperor here who's used to getting their way. <laughs> The Eight of Wands, the Six of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune that we saw. And so this reunion energy isn't just about a dreamy energy for me. It's making that happen. And can that be in the way of a message or seeing each other? Really, it can be either or. This is the Six of Cups. So the Five of Cups is here. The Four of Cups, the Three of Cups, the Two of Cups. Your connection, your deep connection, your deep soulmate connection, your soul connection. The Three of Cups we also see here. That Four of Cups energy of coming in, kind of out of the blue. That Five of Cups energy, yeah. There's a lot of loss. There's a lot of regret, a feeling of regret here. You can see it. They're all up in their head. They're super worried. They're triggered. I'm wondering what was said or done and maybe why I'm feeling some jealousy here. Maybe that's why, again, that they're rushing in kind of fast. Whether it's orchestrating to see you somewhere here with the Six of Cups and the Three of Cups, or as we saw, trying to get a message to you and say everything. Say what they need to say. Say something, I'm giving up on you. I just heard that song. Who is singing that song? Oh, it's right at the tip of my tongue. <laughs> I'm not bringing in song messages today, but um, that's coming through for you. Say something, I'm giving up on you. Christina Aguilera and somebody else. I'm sorry that I couldn't get to you Every, anywhere. I will follow you. Say something. I'm giving up on you. Okay. Anyway, you're going to know. Hermit card energy, Virgo, Mercury energy. It's where you go for clarity. It's where you go to figure out what you want, your personal truth, spiritual illumination. That's the star in there. That's the star card in there, Aquarius energy. And that's the renewal energy and the hope, and that's getting the clarity. And we see that, that they got the clarity. The clarity is here. You know, it's just very clear. Are you here, though? You know, there's a, there is some ener there is an energy here of maybe you have one foot out the door because they're they're watching and they're really worried. They're moving forward toward you. In any case, they're not in this energy anymore. They're getting this clarity now. They've come out. I feel of this hermit energy, but again, you might still be in here. Because we're dealing with a pretty heavy energy here today with this Hierophant in reverse and the Emperor in reverse. You know, there's some power struggles going on. Hello. Within the I caught the camera just in time. Power struggles going on internally, I want to say, within themselves, but also externally. And they're working diligently here to remove them. And they really want to connect with you. They're bringing in that cup here. Also that Knight of Cups, Page of Cups, Knight of Cups, Ace of Cups, King of Cups, Six of Cups, Three of Cups, Ace of Wands, Judgment, This Emperor, Nine of Pentacles. It's clear. They're getting ready to act here. 
Okay, I want to bring in some Oracle Sagittarius. I've really missed it, and it's been really amazing um, bringing it, whoa, bring, bringing it back in. Okay, so I'm shuffled and ready to go, but I want to move the energy here a little bit more. Okay, <laughs> but I wanted to look at the bottom of the deck. It's the round and round card, interesting. So this is kind of like, well, some cycles. I do feel that there are some karmic cycles that are being worked out here. That is just really a given for me. But it can also be for some of you that it's, this has been going on for a while, you know. And we are looking here at the Six of Cups energy. So for some of you, you've chronologically, I want to say, here on, now in the 3D have also, well, here now have known your person for a really long time. It's not going to be for everybody. But this energy of... Yeah, it's controlling what you can and letting go of what you can't. And you can see it's a matter of timing here. It's really about timing. I mean, it always is, but spirit has a plan. And your person is listening. And they are planning and they are plotting, I feel. Thank you, spirit guides, angels and ancestors. Please show us the cards. I hope. By the way... I am not reading, I forgot to tell you I'm not reading Oracle in reverse. Now, tomorrow, next week, I don't know. <laughs> it changes, but I haven't, I haven't um, been feeling that. Imagine, this is imagining all the possibilities here. Look at that connected lasso to the moon. Of course, this is a 20, and that's, here's the thing, it's deducing into a two, as is the judgment card, and that is about this partnership. It's balancing out those energies, divine feminine, divine masculine energies. It's making a decision. It's being honest. It's getting out of that duality. And it's imagining the possibilities here. La <laughs> lassoing the moon. You know, there's a lot of emotional energy there. And again, it's funny, but it really is connecting with this nocturnal energy too. Because... How they're feeling about you, kind of just allowing themselves, I feel like, not fighting with themselves so much. This higher self energy coming more into, I don't know, accepting it is the right word or not, and kind of working against something here that's been working against them is opening up some possibilities. And this is really strongly connecting also with the judgment energy. You know, they're both a 20 and they're both deducing to a two here and that's imagining imagining where this could be what are the possibilities definitely thinking about it and you might still be here to look at that but I want to tell you 44 that's angel message here that angels are with you so I really like that here with these wings, which is a faded connection for me. But the hermit energy, I was holding up to it because that is, of course, this thinking energy of going in and, and going in and, and figuring things out and getting some clarity. Your person has been in this energy, I don't know for how long. You know, there's King of Swords energy here for me today. It's probably right under here, but we're we're gonna stop for tarot for now. But also, I wanted to tell you this 44, of course, is coming to an eight again, you know, and that's manifesting and that's an action, getting ready to take an action here. That's infinity. It's a particular kind of love for some of you. It might be about your twin flame, but it's also connected to Libra energy in that it's the balance. It's the yin yang energy and it's the truth and the truth coming out in a solution that's for everybody, you know, for everybody's, for the highest good of everyone. Okay, so I'm going to keep this and then I'm going to turn it around no place like home energy it's coming back into that feeling of how you felt together you know and it's also representing the conscious and the subconscious the moon of course and all the emotions around that that have been hidden and the sun the conscious and shining on the moon and just illuminating everything what's on the outside, what's on the inside. I mean, look at what is there. And there has, like I said, there's a huge wake up energy with your person about how they feel when they're with you, how they feel about you. For some of you, it can actually connect with an actual dwelling, the feeling of being kind of in your own world 
in many ways. It is an energy of change. It's connected here right up to the divine. Look right up here in front of the moon who was also here with spirit. I don't know if you can see that here in this card. Okay, uh, I have to show you this because it it made me show you. <laughs> Bottoms up, go the distance, energy. This is coming to an 11, Sagittarius. That is a new beginning. And of course, it's a master number. And it's a number of union. It's coming, of course, one and one is forming a union and coming to a two. And that's also that the balance energy. It's the infinity symbol. And it's balancing out. It's working through the karmic cycles for things. Somebody is... is they're really working through something here. You can see it in order for things to be where they need to be. And also for this connection. And, and again, by the way, if you're ever feeling like some of that energy is you and you're resonating with that, then that's you too. But this is working all that out and then moving forward here and going to the finish line. This is the completion energy. A really strong completion energy. It's bringing in the world card energy. You know it's literal travel. Also moving toward the journey. It's heading for a goal. This is the goal, you know? Soulmate energy. It's bringing in really strong soulmate energy. Yeah, so this is going all the way. This is, and again, it can be for some of you, that is marriage. It won't be for everyone. Ace of Cups, Knight of Cups, Three of Cups, Six of Cups. They're working hard here. They're working hard here. But that proposal energy that I'm feeling, and I'm keeping this, and you know, <laughs> Guys, I just have to tell you, this is how it's wanting to come in. It's not letting me turn it over. So I'm going to bring in these energies that I'm seeing here. We're going to talk about them, okay? And wow. Yeah. And look what's here too. And I actually want to channel another one. But for now, I want to, <laughs> I want to move into this energy that's going on here. So that going the distance, that long-term energy. You know, and again, so what is that? Talking again. Moving in, marriage, the message that you've been waiting for, for sure. It is just loud and clear for me. This wildcat is heading for the finish line. So what's really interesting um, that I wanted to tell you here with the flexible and then the leg up that I put, it's kind of like somebody else's turn to do some of the work, you know, to kind of help you up now. It's a leg up, you know, this little... <laughs> these beautiful little polar bears here and yeah and it's connecting here with this flexible card this is a card for me of compromise so and it's a 19 it's coming to a 10 and that's around a new beginning you know and in order for this cycle to end and for things to come for a cycle to complete and for a new one to begin a renewal there needs to be some compromise here so what is that around this connection you know, is it around this higher font energy that we see that they're really working against? Because they're very worried here. It's flexibility. It's, you know, yeah, it's a compromise. And it's seeing, seeing everybody for who they are and where they are and coming to this decision together. This isn't finished. That's what I wanted to tell you. And them coming in here too and taking some responsibility. A leg up here. And yeah. That Six of Pentacles energy here, also, excuse me, that Seven of Pentacles energy that I feel you might be in kind of waiting and waiting, you know, one foot out the door. It's like you're waiting for them to do something here now. It's not finished. It is not finished. Unfinished Symphony, there is the new cycle here. And again, when, when instruments and musical notes are coming into my reading, it is a really, can be a really strong connection to music too, by the way. But it's also a sign of wanting to make peace. You know, not playing games anymore, too, for some of you. Look, the joker here is like, I'm, you know, kind of deflated. Like, it's not funny anymore. This isn't finished. It's up here on this knowing egg. Look, here is spirit. Up here with the divine. The messenger here. Is it coming or leaving? It almost looks like they're dropping a heart. I need to look. I know. Lately, I've been forgetting that this is called a magnifying glass. I think it's because I haven't been feeling well. Let me just look and see what that is. I think that might be a rose petal that's being dropped off here. 
I think that might be a rose petal that's being dropped off here. This is not finished. It's clear it's not finished. And this communication is going to come out of nowhere if it hasn't already. Why am I reaching for that? Because I want to go here. So we're keeping this. And, oh, look, peace offering. Change. Look at that. Holding the olive branch. There is the, there's the dove. The making peace energy. The love, the feathers coming off here. The angels nearby working. The roses, the star. Oh, yeah. My gosh. It's just really super clear for me. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us any last cards, any last energies that are wanting to come in for our Sagittarius today. Okay, that's interesting. I feel like this is yours too. Yeah, and that's that. Wow, look, here and now, past and future, living in the past or heading toward the future. Yeah, this is... Coming out of all that conflicting energy here and moving forward. It's a change in the wind. It's the divine. Look at that. It's a 12. It's divine timing. It's changing here. And for some of you, it really is around somebody who, I don't know, indecision, maybe even some games for some of you. It won't be for everybody, but they're getting serious here now. This is getting real, Sag. No games. Zebra losing its stripes, <laughs> it's not something you expect to see. I'm sorry that I have to cover up the cards here, but you know what is here. It's a fork in the road in the community, and this is interesting because this is about your love language. It's more of that energy of the flexible energy and the leg up energy of who is where and who can do what and who wants what. It's an eight. It's a number of action, manifesting. The infinity, of course, infinity symbol. For some of you, twin flame connection, again, it's just not for everybody, but it's just being really honest about everything, you know, feelings, where things are going, what are the things that need to be removed here? Everybody's love language, and it's a fork in the road. I forgot what this said. I looked at it. I saw this card this week. <laughs> And I just want to look again. Oh, there's that owl again. No, maybe there wasn't anything on there. Yeah, there's actually nothing written on there. That's right. Okay. But look what is here. It's the owl. It's our little Scorpio again. The divine wisdom, inner transformations, the nocturnal energy. Also here on the, the saddle on the llama who looks quite peaceful, just waiting, looking spirit is here, guiding this connection, this fork in the road of where you're going to go from here. This manifesting energy here with this 13 coming to a four. We saw that with the eight of pentacles, this, the saddle was not um, secure. You know, you can see that here in the reversal with the knight of pentacle energy of kind of like not doing, not doing the work, I want to say. And this is very, it's, a, it's like, wh where do you want to go? It's not finished. Things are changing. It's really strong. It's really very strong. The Wheel of Fortune, the Knight of Cups, the King of Cups, the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Wands, the Three of Cups, the Six of Cups, the Saint of Pentacles energy, um, Judgment. It's, yeah. Sagittarius, let's bring in some channeled love messages and see what your person wants to say. Messages from your person, messages from their higher self, who they're very much connecting with at the moment. Be mine. I'm putting this here with the Ace of Cups. Forgive me. It's the apologetic energy. There's a lot of the energy here of, is it zebra changing its stripes or losing its stripes? It's the change, you know, the change in the wind. It's really closely connected to your person's energy, but also here we know that. This is going with the worry that they have. I love you, so forgive me. 
I love you, sorry. I dream of you. It goes with the imagine. We are a faded connection. That's the Wheel of Fortune, one of the very first energies that came in. Thinking of you now, I think of you 24-7 in your last channeled message. I made a song playlist. A lot of references here to music, so there is a connection um, in music. I'm not going to be doing channeled song today, channeled song messages, but definitely they will be coming in, you know, when they come in. They've made a playlist for you, Sagittarius. Okay, um, that's your reading. Wow. Thank you so very much for joining me. I really appreciate it a lot. I hope you enjoyed your reading as much as I did. And if you did, I would really appreciate it if you liked the video. Subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. And it goes without saying, thank you for your support and being here today. I really appreciate it. I'm sending you so much love and so much light, hoping for the best outcome for you. And I look forward to seeing you at another reading. Until then, bye Sagittarius.